Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back on windows fixer today we are showing you how to fix can I start msi app player there are several factors behind this issues and i will show you how to adjust your windows settings and resolve any virtualization conflict even though it's related to the maybe gpu drivers anyways let's get started to fix this issue first of all what we are gonna do here we will make sure that our um graphic drivers are up to date and in 2024 right now the nvidia replaced the geforce with nvidia app and if you are still guys uh, getting the geforce which means you are using the older version or you did not replace you did not allow the nvidia to replace the geforce with this one anyways uh if you are using geforce still there's a option and if you are using nvidia app still there's options to update your drivers directly go into the driver section and then click on the check for updates if there's any available just download it and update your gpu drivers once it is done now the second step is we will make sure that sometimes when you window when you install a fresh window at that point you will get two different drivers from internet to your pc it's just like i will show you hardware and then device manager and then once you are here you will see here the display adapter just expand it and then nvidia geforce gtx 1060 the driver the gpu that you are currently using i mean currently i'm using but of course if you are using you will see your gpu name you need to go into the drivers and then make sure driver date is updated update browse my computer let me pick as you can see currently there's i have three drivers the first one is 6 11 2024 the second one a bit older 15 then 10 20 24 and then more older is 14 8 2024 we need to make sure that the latest driver is currently installed and driver date is 6 11 2024 6 11 2024 which is the latest version so yeah that's it we need to confirm that after doing this now the next step is you need to type here the msi app player and here we go with the launcher first and then go here and then you will see here the multi instance manager now as we are here click on this option and then memory located always choose here if you have like 8 gp then do the half if you have 16 go with the 8 if you have 4 go with the 2 if you have 2 gb then go with the 1 gb just half and then frame rate is full then go into the display display is your choice guys if you have a low end pc then make sure choose the 1280x 720p which is quite low and like it's better for both now choose the graphic render to open gl and if, if still you are facing then choose the direct x then interface rendering should be on auto so it, it can adjust it automatically and after these changes guys try to launch it again if still you are facing then what you can do here it's currently pi 64 bit so you need to create a new instance choose here fresh instance and then you need to choose here the negative 32 or 64 bit mostly i prefer 64 bit if you are using the latest operating systems like windows 10 64 bit or windows 11 both are stable the 64 bit actually have more wide range of uh, applications variety like it's supporting more applications than the 32 bit that's the difference but you can choose and then click on next now the cpu course choose here the medium memory allocated should be here enhanced for me i have 18 16 gb ram but still i don't use it for gaming so 14 4 gb is enough then resolution as you like in my case i guess this is then avi setting you can choose here x86 and arm and then performance mode should be here high performance now dpi 240 if you have a good specs then you can also go with the 320 dpi and then click on download it will start downloading 
once the download is finished start up just like this and there you go your problem should be fixed after this if you have still any question just let me know in the comment sections i will try to respond to you as soon as possible till then just take yourself la face bye bye